Hey guys, I'm just going to show you SP364K. I already opened the box. If you wanted to see the video, check out the links below unboxing. I have the video already posted, but I wanted to give you a closer look. Been using it for a while now. So this is like the pouch I keep it in. Uh, it's pretty cool. Actually got the hook up over here. It's pretty uh, safe also. You can carry it with this just like hooked up to your belt. You can just pop this up. You see the um, top protection. I put it on the lens as a dome. Okay. It's very little. Actually, let's show you how little it is. If you were to put it on the ruler, this thing is literally smaller than two inches wide. Since it's a square, so uh, yeah, smaller than two inches. And the height is right about, you know, two inches right there. So if I take the dome out, which I will, um, you'll see that the lens is in there too. Boom, right there. What happens is Kodak came up with a lens ring around your lens actually. This ring just screws over here with a dome on it. Just this is for lens protection. You don't have to put this on and you can still use this. There's a ring for it. You can just put it in without the glass and then use this for protection if you don't want to just put this on uh, when you're recording but I don't see why you would not so it really helps to protect your lens you don't want to scratch the lens and it comes with two of these protectors so this is how small it is you can see it says uh, Pixboro 4k on it the previous version was yellow and SP360 only going up to 1080 I believe on the side <clears throat> you're gonna see your standard tripod holes here uh, if you're you know screwing it in it, the other dot goes in here with the spring you want and then you screw it right there you can, you have an L shape if you bought the right package you have an L shape that's the camera sits in there or you can just like you know face front um, like facing like this I usually shoot my shots like that the dome looking up depending on what you want to do you have the attachments and you have the options out of the box so if you watch my other video you're gonna see all the attachments this is the um, port for HDMI and charging port and then the SD card right in there it's just a matter of just clicking in and then pulling out the SD card it's a micro SD strongly suggest using a quality SD card uh, the the speed of 4k demanding so try to get a class 10 I believe yeah uh, of those and then the microphones over here two on the top two on the side uh, so it's pretty loud actually picks up every single noise around you and then there are in the menu if it's too windy you can actually block the wind by turning down the microphones not like completely but just kind of blocks the wind a little bit on the side the mode button that turns it on and this is like uh, working out the menus this is your Wi-Fi button right there it says it's splash proof not tested yet but I, I bet it'll be okay under the rain if you don't dip it in you'll be fine this is your screen it's black and white you kind of like have to go through the menu if you didn't know this before uh, if you didn't work it out it takes a little bit to work it in you know kind of you get used to it in a week or two depending on how much you use it but the menus are pretty uh, smartly uh, designed um, the user manual helps a lot it's quite light there's no battery it's charging right now the bottom port is like metal and what you, the way you open it is just this is springy right here you pull it to yourself you pull it and then slide this part out see like this I slide it right there and it's springy it comes out I just store this in here so I can uh, this is my adapter so this is the battery compartment battery goes in here it lasts quite a bit but I want to say um, if you're constantly recording the battery will be like an hour or hour and 15 minutes that, at most that I found so this is it this is your camera right here very little very effective i got great videos coming up so stay in touch ask any questions you may have let's just stay in touch thanks